That one kicks away. Here comes Frazier. That is the ball game. And that is a winner. A signature win in 10 innings. Padres were down to their final out in the bottom of the ninth. They tie it, and they win it on a wild pitch in the 10th. So many different heroes, Jesse, in this game. You got to go back to Cronenworth with that big home run. Mark Melanson setting up the dramatics for the bottom of the 10th. A need win, a must win for the Padres. That's a spike changeup for a wild pitch. Just a huge emotional win for the Padres. Got to love that. For the first six innings of the game, the Padres did not have a base runner, and we thought maybe Aaron Nola was doing something extraordinary for the Philadelphia Phillies. They got to him a little bit in the seventh, and they got to him just enough in the bottom of the ninth inning to tie it. And then against the Philadelphia bullpen, a win in walk-off fashion in the bottom of the tenth inning. And just a remarkable victory for the Padres, who for the second time this year, Walk off on a wild pitch with Trent Grisham at the plate. <laughs> Without Jake Cronenworth's home run in the bottom of the ninth inning, none of that would ever happen. Annie is standing by with Jake. Jesse, thanks so much. Well, we got to get the swag chain on first. Manny doing the honors. Getting that first run in earlier, Manny. Jake, what's better than a walk off? No, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, considering how tough things have been lately, how big was this one? This was huge. Uh, <clears throat> Nola for them was pitching a really good game. Uh, just trying to find a way to score some runs, and, and I finally got some across there in the last inning. It seemed like every hit, every run scored, there was a ton of emotion behind you guys. Even on your home run, did it feel like you were just taking some of those frustrations out of the baseball tonight? Yeah, absolutely. It's been a frustrating stretch here for us, but uh, to get the win tonight in front of a great crowd and uh, that's awesome. Let's talk about that home run. Two outs, bottom of the ninth. It looked all but over for you guys, and you get that two-run home run. How were you able to get to Nola there after he'd been so good for so long? Yeah, he hadn't made too many mistakes over the game, and I was just looking for a good pitch to drive there, and uh, that honestly might have been the first mistake he made all night. First come from the high win after trailing five innings since July 9th. Was there a mentality among you guys that you were just going to get it done no matter what tonight? Yeah, just try to find any way possible. Uh, you saw it there in the last inning with the wild pitch walk off. Um, so it kind of explains it. Hey, Jake, Blake Snell said last night all you needed was one big win and it could start something special. Tonight, in front of this crowd, a walk off. Could this be the start of something for you guys and able to turn it around? I think it could. That's how it happened last time. Uh, what do you think of this crowd and being back at home? Man, it's awesome. We got my friends and family here. <clears throat> this is awesome. Shout out to your friends and family. Very nice. They got to see you put on a show tonight, of course, in dramatic fashion like you've been doing all season long. Jake, we really appreciate it. Thanks so much. Thank you. Mike, back over to you. Eddie